How's it going guys? Cameron here with Canadian Gamer coming at you with another video. Now I wanted to put this video out. Yes, it's a pickups video, but I was going to wait a couple of days to put it out. Uh, I wasn't really in a big hurry to do it. But you know what? I've noticed ever since a couple of days ago when I posted that video talking about how there's too many YouTubers in the community posting Amico content, it feels it feels like the the tire fire has erupted and the flames are boiling hot they're everywhere all the youtubers under the sun are posting uh in television amico videos right now uh the sharks smell the blood in the water and uh now when you turn on your feed that's basically all that's coming up so i'm sure you guys are just as much sick of it as i am uh, so that's why I kind of wanted to put this video out to uh, help remove the uh, sour taste out of everybody's mouth and uh, give you something to sort of take your mind off of all the uh, the drama content, all the, all the negativity. So this pickups video, it's kind of exciting. I got a few things here that I'm really happy I was able to pick up. So before we get into it, let me take a sip of my wine. So, uh, I was out at a pawn shop today, pretty far from where I live, but before I show you what I picked up there, uh, there's a couple of things I picked up uh, at the thrift store recently, and the first thing I picked up here, this was last week, was a, a camera, a digital camera, a Olympus Stylus 500, and I know this is a primarily a gaming content channel. But I am into photography, and I did want to show this off. So the reason why I picked this camera up uh, for a few different reasons, I noticed it's got a pretty hefty weight to it. It's got an like I think it's an aluminum body, but this is an all-weather camera, and uh, what sets this apart from a lot of the other digital cameras out there is a lot of the components inside this camera are uh, they're rubberized. So you know, heaven forbid, if water made its way into the internals of this camera, uh, it's less likely it's gonna disrupt anything. And more to the point, with this camera, you could stand uh, right in the middle of like pouring rain if you wanted to, and you could take a, a shot, and it's not gonna disrupt anything. So yeah, this is a real cool camera. Uh, it's pretty old, but uh, I imagine uh, it still works. Uh, we'll find out once I get the uh, the charger in the mail. So I bought it. It didn't come with the charger, unfortunately. But uh, again, real good fit and finish. Uh, not surprising from uh, Olympus, which I think they're getting out of the uh, the camera market altogether. But it's got uh, obviously the battery was included, so that's a must. But uh, more interesting than that, uh, it came with uh, not an SD card, but uh, I guess back in the day. Kind of like, you know, when there was Blu-ray and there was HD DVD. Well, the same thing was going on with uh, the SD cards back in the day. And I can't seem to open it up. But there's a different type of memory card in this camera. And I think it was exclusive to uh, Olympus and Fuji Film, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah. Pretty cool that the original memory card is in there. I'm wondering if there's any shots on there or what it is maybe maybe i shouldn't be looking at it <laughs> but it's kind of pain in the ass because I, again i think it's called an xd card but you need an xd reader to be able to uh to read it on your computer so i'm gonna see if maybe i can sort of plug in the camera via a usb cable and, and get around it that way so yeah really happy to have this i think i paid five bucks for it and it's in mint condition so pretty cool stuff and then I picked this up, and this is a crowd pleaser right here. WWF The Music Volume 3. So it's it's a bit of a mixed bag because you've got, uh, number one, you've got The Undertaker's theme, but it's not his original theme, so skip that. Then you've got Edge's theme song, which is all right. X-Pac, Dude Love, Kane, the Rock, which is, again, not, not the original Rock theme, so it kind of sucks. 
Gangrel, The Road, Ken, Ken Shamrock is on here, which is kind of odd for Volume 3. Uh, the Oddities. Now, the best one here is probably uh, the original version of Degeneration X. Suck it. Uh, we've got Sable, The New Age Outlaws. And then we've got uh, Vel Venus. And then last but not least, track number 14, Stone Cold Steve Austin. So yeah, WWF Volume 3, the music. Really happy to have that. So so yeah, today I was out and about, out and about. And uh, I went to this pawn shop that I hadn't been to in, gosh, I don't know, six or seven months. Now, a bit of a story here. Uh, I went into this pawn shop several months ago and they had a six button uh joystick for the sega genesis which really piqued my interest and she wanted 40 dollars for it and honestly i was willing to pay it uh i've i've wanted the three button the the sega genesis the sega branded three button joystick for the longest time i just haven't been able to find one in the wild and another guy in the community picked up this six button joystick i can't remember the company who makes it uh, and it looked really good and he gave me a good recommendation on it so when i saw it at the pawn shop i should have picked it up but i don't know i think i was just looking at it like yeah 40 eh, 40 bucks and then uh i was passing through today and i stopped by and wouldn't you know it the joystick was there and uh, i said to her i said listen i said i was here six six or seven months ago and you had this joystick here and you still haven't sold it. So clearly you're having a hard time getting rid of this. So let me give you 30 bucks and I'll take it off your hands. And she agreed to it. So I picked it up uh, and I also picked up, what was it here? Yes, this. <laughs> For $15, I picked up an Xbox 360 controller. Yes, I already have a couple 360 controllers, but you almost never see the limited edition controllers like this one out in the wild and it's in mint condition and it's got the uh aftermarket piece on the back so not not the double a's but the the charger pack so yeah 15 bucks is a hell of a deal for this are you kidding me so i was so happy to pick this up uh, and the joystick uh, i didn't even barely look at the joystick i just paid for it and went back to my car and it wasn't until after i got back to my car you know how it is when you buy stuff like that once you get back to your car then you you pull it out of the bag and you take a closer look at it i noticed it was for the super nintendo because it looked identical to the six button uh joystick you could get for the genesis so i'm like oh fuck i'm like you know pawn shop once you buy something even if you walk back in, sometimes they won't refund it. No dice. So I walked back, I ran back in, and I told her. And then she's like, oh, I can't refund it because uh, once we put it through on your credit card, uh, there's like a security hold on it, and we can't refund it for 24. Like She gave me like a bullshit story. She's like, you got another credit card? We can refund it onto the other credit card? I'm like, no. And then we tried to, to do it on my debit card, and it wouldn't go through for whatever reason. I don't know. So I said to her, I said, well, you know what? I said, uh, how about I just pick up a few games that equal the amount of, of this joystick and, and we'll call it a day. So she was fine with that. So what I picked up here, uh, now this game is getting harder to find and it's going up in price, I've noticed. And that's Blair Witch for the PS4. So it's a survival horror game. It does look really good. Nice movie tie-in. It looks a hell of a lot better than... Some of the, well, I guess you would say all the Blair Witch films that came out after the first one have been absolute garbage. But I think this sort of picks up closer to the first film. And uh, yeah, for $17, hell yeah. Uh, I think I checked this out on eBay recently and it was it was much more than that. So I don't know if you can get this physically on the, on the Xbox One. I think you might be able to. Uh, it says it comes with, uh, I guess, a... a maybe a skin or a dlc i'm not quite sure so yeah excited to check this out uh maybe i'll set up the ps4 so i can stream this we'll see and then uh i also picked up two loose cart 
Genesis games. So this one here, you know, NHL 94 is often regarded as not only the greatest hockey video game of all time, but a lot of people out there would say it's the greatest sports game of all time. Well, this is uh, a close second. I've heard nothing but good things about Mario Lemieux hockey for the Sega Genesis Black Label. Uh, I've never, I don't recall playing this one, but I've heard that it's just absolutely incredible. So I'm happy to have that. I'm pretty sure this was a Sega Sports game, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, Mario Lemieux from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. <laughs> and that was $4.00. And then I picked this up for 10 and uh, kind of tying into the wrestling theme here. I used to play this one back in the day a lot. And that's Royal Rumble for the Sega Genesis. So it's funny too. You guys can't see it on the video here, but Hulk Hogan's head, I think all their heads, uh, Lex Luger, Macho Man, uh, we got Razor Ramon, and uh, yeah, the Hulkster. Their, their heads look bigger than, well, obviously bigger... Their heads look superimposed, okay? <laughs> their heads look bigger than their body. So yeah, pretty happy to have that. The label's obviously a little bit pooched, but what can you do is 10 bucks. So yeah, not bad. All that for 30 bucks, can't complain. Just a quick pickups video here. We're already at the 12 minute mark. So I'm gonna cut it off there. I've got a busy weekend ahead of me. I hope you guys are gonna have a great weekend yourself. Thanks so much for watching. You people are wonderful and beautiful. You take care.